I want to say this categorically. That I do believe that when the president spoke during Rubia's funeral, he meant every word of it. It has come to my attention that the person who is after Miguna's troubles is none other than Raila Odinga. I have come to learn that Uhuru Kenyatta has no problem with Miguna coming back. But as you saw yesterday uh, on uh, live TV, Citizen TV, by one Gladys Wanga, and it was clear if you look at the tonality of Gladys Wanga on Citizen TV yesterday, that the ODM side of this informal coalition is not going to, to let Miguna come back to this country. And I want to say something. You may not agree with me. I don't agree an iota with Miguna Miguna. But surely, the price we have to pay for our democracy is that we have to you know, live in this country with all sorts of people, sane people and lunatics. We have, it is a price we have to pay for our democracy. We cannot do anything about it because democracy is a rule, is a route that we have given to ourselves. Second thing, we are talking about BBI to change constitution. If you cannot respect this one, which is here, which other one do you want us to bring through BBI? If you cannot, if Miguna is not protected by 2010 constitution, if it cannot be obeyed, even if you change and bring whichever one. Who tells you that it shall be obeyed? So let's walk the talk. And if we're talking about bringing changes through the, through the BBI to the Constitution, let us parade our credentials. There is the old dictum in law which says that he who seeks justice must do so with clean hands.